pyramids have baffled scientists for years. Rising like a giant staircase to the heavens, the Step Pyramid of Djoser has stood for over 4,650 years on Egypt's desert plateau. At nearly 200 feet tall, equivalent to a modern 20-story building, it represents humanity's first colossal stone structure, assembled from over 11 million cubic feet of precisely cut limestone blocks. But how did ancient Egyptians move these massive stones without modern machinery? For generations, archaeologists have theorized about enormous earthen ramps and armies of workers. Now, a groundbreaking study suggests something far more ingenious was at play, water power. Xavier Landro and his team from the CEA Paleotechnic Institute have uncovered evidence of what may be history's first hydraulic elevator system. By analyzing satellite radar imagery and ancient waterways carved into bedrock, they've pieced together a fascinating theory. Just west of the Saqqara necropolis stands a massive stone enclosure called Gizr el Mudir. Far from being merely ceremonial, this structure appears to be a sophisticated check dam designed to control seasonal flash floods from the Nile and capture heavy objects coming downstream. Behind this dam, evidence suggests a seasonal lake formed during the Nile's annual flooding. As waters receded, carefully engineered channels directed the flow into what archaeologists call the dry moat, a rock-cut trench encircling the entire pyramid complex. The southern section of this moat contains a series of stepped chambers resembling modern sedimentation basins, essentially ancient water treatment facilities that removed sediment and delivered clean water exactly where it was needed most. Inside the pyramid itself, stone corridors angle upward from a central shaft with wear patterns suggesting the flow of water. The ancient architects likely devised a system where buoyant barges or sealed sleds carried massive stone blocks, which were gradually lifted as water flowed beneath them. The numbers make this theory even more compelling. A 30-foot column of water could cancel out nearly two-thirds of a limestone block's weight. Workers stationed on terraced ledges would then need only to guide these partially floating blocks into position rather than lifting their full weight. This hydraulic approach would have elegantly solved multiple problems. The annual Nile floods, which typically threatened construction sites by rotting timber and stranding supplies, instead became a powerful ally, turning a natural hazard into free labor. The payoff was immediate and dramatic. Within a generation, the size of stones used in pyramid construction doubled. By the time Khufu's Great Pyramid was built around 2550 BCE, individual blocks weighed more than five tons each. Traditional theories suggest moving such blocks would require thousands of workers hauling them up mile-long ramps. A water-driven elevator system would have dramatically reduced the workforce needed while accelerating construction. Curiously, the Step Pyramid holds another mystery. Its burial chamber is empty. No royal mummy, no treasure, no hieroglyphic texts. Some archaeologists now speculate this hollow core wasn't primarily a tomb, but rather served as a sophisticated pressure vessel, the technical heart that made the water lift system possible. The complex network of tunnels, hinged stone doors, and elaborate traps may represent not just spiritual symbolism, but functional mechanical ingenuity rivaling any irrigation system of the ancient world. This mastery of fluid dynamics might sound familiar to modern civil engineers who use controlled floods to build land in river deltas, or pneumatic systems to raise entire buildings. If ancient Egyptians truly manipulated water columns to float massive stones skyward, they achieved an engineering feat that resonates with our contemporary efforts to work with natural forces rather than against them. While these findings don't answer every question about pyramid construction, they open compelling new avenues for research. Future excavations might analyze silt layers from the dry moat or examine mineral deposits on interior shafts for evidence of repeated water exposure. What's clear is that the Step Pyramid stands as a testament not just to ancient Egypt's spiritual ambitions, but to their remarkable technical innovation. Even in antiquity, humans found brilliant solutions to seemingly impossible challenges, solutions as fluid and ingenious as the mighty Nile itself. For more on this story, find a link to the article on earth.com in the description.